In this video, we're going to learn how to convert between the chemical standard state and the biological standard state, or vice versa. Okay, in the last video, we have introduced the concept of the biological standard state, which is simply a convenient way to set up a reference state when you're looking at chemical reactions in vivo. Right, so, so this summarizes uh, what we understand by the biological standard state with respect to the general or chemical standard state. And notice that the only difference is really in the concentration of protons, which uh, happens to be pH 7 for the biological standard state, and pH 0, or one molar concentration, for the general chemical standard state. Now, uh, with those uh, uh, states, what we actually, the real power of defining those states is that then we can compute things like uh, the change in Gibbs energy, or reaction Gibbs energy, and there are some conditions that may be those of inside a cell or in some tissue, right, using these expressions, right? So, so you essentially have to choose which one you want to use, right? Uh, if you have uh, the reaction gives energy at the chemical standard state, and this is given in tables, or you can obtain this from data in tables, then you would like to follow that route. But sometimes these values provided, so you would like to follow that route. Okay, great. Now, something that is, uh, uh, that is going to appear in the problems is actually how to obtain this value, which is the reaction Gibbs energy at the biological standard state, from that value, which is the reaction Gibbs energy at the standard chemical state. Okay, uh, and so, so how to do that, right? Uh, well, um, uh, it turns out that uh, that is uh, something that is not difficult to do, and uh, the way to do it is to visualize these expressions and read them in uh, something that is a little bit, uh, you know, in a way that is different from uh, what we have been handling those expressions until now. A way to think about either of these expressions is to say the following, right? This is the reaction gives energy at some target state that we're interested in, and that may be exactly the, uh, you know, the concentrations inside a cell in a fasted state, or maybe after you have eaten breakfast, whatever those concentrations are, Right? That's what you're trying to calculate. And this is your reference, right? That is, that is the data that you have. Right? So this correction simply tells you uh, how different are the concentrations of that target state that you're interested in, again, either the fasted or maybe after breakfast or whatever, right? with respect to the concentrations of the reference state. Okay? The same thing happens for this one, right? You're still trying to, this is your target. But that is your reference, right? So the only difference between these two is that you have simply changed the reference for convenience. Right, so then the, the way to transform between these two states is to simply just apply the same uh, uh, form of the equation but using a target and reference approach, right? So you can write either one of these expressions simply as this. Uh, delta RG of your target, which I can uh, write here as a superscript target, is going to be equal to the reaction gives energy of your reference, which I'm simply going to write as ref, plus RT, natural log of Q, where reaction quotient here is simply going to be uh, the ratio of uh, products of our reagents, where each one of those species is in the numerator, you're going to have your target concentration, the concentration you're interested in, and in the denominator, you will have your reference concentrations. Okay? So, uh, so suppose that um, uh, we're interested in obtaining the biological standard state reaction Gibbs energy from the reaction Gibbs energy of the chemical standard state, which will be this one, right? So uh, the question then is, well, what is this uh, reaction quotient? All right, so uh, we're actually going to take here the approach of uh, utilizing this reaction, right? So that's going to be simply um, um, the concentration of uh, C at your target uh, concentration, but in this case, my target concentration is this, okay, which will be that one, divided over the concentration of that species of the reference state, which in this case is the chemical standard state, and then the same thing is going to apply for the rest of the species. So that will be protons at the target over protons at the reference, and then uh, yes, reagents, which I can write here quite quickly, even though it's a little hard to write uh, in this position. Okay, 
Okay, so concentration of B at the target over concentration of B at the reference. All right, great. All right, so, uh, right, so these then will be given, or you can calculate from thermodynamic tables, right? And the question is, well, what is all this mess that we have right here? Okay, well, notice that these numbers are actually going to be fairly straightforward, right? Uh, notice that these uh, A, B, C are solutes that are not protons. But notice that the concentrations uh, at the chemical state and biological standard state for solutes that are not protons are all one molar. Right, so this number will be one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. That actually, there's no difference here between the standard state, chemical standard state, and the biological standard state. Right, so all this is going to cancel out. Okay, the only difference is actually going to be in between uh, uh, in those in that uh, concentration of proton, which is the only thing that changes. Right, so if you uh, take into consideration that cancellation, you can rewrite this whole thing. Uh, simply the concentration of protons uh, at your target over the concentration of protons in your reference. Okay, and we know what those numbers are, right? And that number would be 1.0, 10 to the minus 7 molar. And this number is going to be 1 molar. Okay, so notice that uh, from this point on, the calculation of what the biological standard state is from the chemical standard state is straightforward. Right, uh, 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 it's not difficult at all. Okay, great. Uh, uh, so to wrap this video up, uh, or just to uh, uh, kind of add substance to what we just discussed, we can actually now change the question. Right, we can say, well, suppose that you're actually provided this number, that is the biological standard state, or the Gibbs energy at the biological standard state, and your goal is to calculate uh, the reaction Gibbs energy at the chemical state from that value. Okay, well, in that case, you can still use this approach, okay? But the only thing that, that changes here is that, uh, well, your states are flipped right now. Your target is going to be the chemical standard state. And then uh, uh, your reference is going to be the biological standard state. That is the number that you know. And again, if you follow uh, the math, uh, you could write the reaction quotient that you have. But in the end, you will actually end up here flipping it these states, now your target is the uh, chemical standard state, your uh, reference is the biological standard state, and of course these concentrations change. Now you will have here 1.0 molar, and that will be 1.0, 10 to the minus 7 molar. Okay, so notice how uh, beautiful this, this concept is, right? Notice how you can go seamlessly from a target to a reference, and, and those could be whatever you want, okay, if you interpret this expression is, is obtaining the reaction gives energy at some target that you're interested in from uh, the reaction gives energy at a reference uh, that you may, that you that you will have. Okay, so um, uh, from uh, now on, then uh, the next videos are simply going to uh, delve a little deeper into chemical equilibrium by showing us how the equilibrium constant can be affected by the conditions.